Hello and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how you can add 3D animated objects on the ground in Lens Studio, like this. All the resources that I'm using in order to make this lens will be linked down below. And yeah, let's create. Okay, so how do we create 3D lenses in Lens Studio? Firstly, let's understand what 3D objects are. This is the simplest way you can understand what a three-dimensional object is. A 3D object is just a 2D shape which is stacked up together. When a 2D shape is stacked up together, you get a three-dimensional shape. A tree in a basic form is just the combination of two 3D shapes, which is a cone, and a cylinder, a cone for the top and the cylinder for the trunk. Similarly, a face is just a spear, which is elongated on both sides. And then modifications are made in order to make it look like an actual face. So where do you get 3D objects from? You can make your own 3D objects using softwares like Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, Fusion 360 and, and other similar softwares. But in case you don't want to make your own 3D objects, you can also find them online. One popular website, which is used a lot in order to make 3D lenses and find 3D objects in general, is called Sketchfab. You can also find 3D objects of better quality on cgtrader.com. To add animated objects onto the ground, here's what you can do. Search for an animated 3D object. I'm going to search for dinosaur here. And I'm going to try and find something that is animated. All animated files in Sketchfab have this icon on top of them. If I select this, if I click on it, you can see that this 3D object is animated. You can click on download 3D model and download the 3D object. To add the animated 3D object onto the ground, I'm going to use this template right here called animated object. Once the template is open, you can delete the already existing 3D files. I'm also going to delete this one and delete the files from the resources as well. And then click on add new resource, import file, and install the 3D object. Make sure you have your optimized animation curve turned on right here. Click on import. Once your object is imported, add this into your world object controller and make sure that it's on top of the ground grid. You can see that the object gets imported here. You can change the size of this. I'm going to make this 10, maybe 25. And yeah, this is how you can add 3D objects onto the ground. Most of the times when you import a GLB file, the texture is already added to the 3D object. In case it isn't, locate your 3D file in the resources, go to materials and then click on the material. Here in the preview, you can see that the texture is completely white. Here, I'm going to enable the base texture checkbox, then locate the textures file of the 3D object and select it. You can see that the 3D texture is now added back onto our 3D object. And yeah, this was how you can add 3D animated objects onto the ground in Lens Studio. If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.